if you're being asked to graph y equals negative x plus 4, I want you to recognize that this is already in y equals mx plus b form. This number here, the b, is the y-intercept. So at positive 4 on the y-axis, I want you to put a dot. The y-axis goes up and down. I'm going to find 4. I'm going to put a dot there. That's the first point on the line, okay? Now, this is the slope. Now, there's no number written there, but when you have a number, or like when they're when you're multiplying by 1, we don't usually write that as a coefficient. So this is actually a slope of negative 1. And to write that as a fraction, we do negative 1 over 1, because dividing by 1 doesn't change the identity of that whole number. What that actually means is that your rise is negative 1, and your run is positive 1. So from this point, the y-intercept that you came up with, I want you to go down 1, see a negative rise, down 1. And I want you to go to the right by 1 as well. So from here, down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. How many times am I going to say that before you get sick of it? I'm going to continue until I'm out of space on my grid. And you can kind of probably see if we wanted to backtrack, we'd be reversing those instructions. Instead of down and to the right, we would go up and to the left. Up one, left one. 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 Until you run out of space on your grid. Then, to finish drawing your line, use a ruler, connect all of those points, and don't forget to put arrows on both sides because that's what makes it a line and not just a line segment. Hey, we did it together. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.